Hey everyone, it's Joe Burgess. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be going over a five minute video of uh, some stuff I picked up at uh, Walmart and I never even knew existed. So, uh, you know, and then and the other, later on in the video I'm just going to go over a quick, uh, quick second part video I'm going to be doing in the future. And uh, this is just the uh, top part of it. And, uh, We'll go into those details a little later in the video. I just want to show you guys this stuff first. It's going to just take maybe just a couple of minutes. Um, these Hyper Tough 6 quart dispenser jugs. Um, a lot of times I'll be putting oil in a car and uh, usually getting quarts or usually getting 5 quarts and just measuring from right out of the right out of the uh, container which is it's kind of tough to do sometimes as you guys all know and uh, quartz are easier uh, more expensive and um, a lot of times um, you know you, you, you're getting more if you buy it in bulk so but with these um, new six quart uh, systems here from HyperTuff um, Pretty, pretty nice units here. They're, they're a lot like uh, in, in just mainstream shops, and um, I've used them a few times. Uh, pretty, pretty sp spill proof, and basically, uh, these are nice, nice little units here. So I just want to share uh, with you guys where uh, I found them, and um, I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are probably actually looking for these yourself because I've been looking for them for years and uh, I finally came across something that actually would uh, would do the trick for me and these these did it actually um, I ended up buying two because uh, I want to have an extra one around um, and I think the price is right I can't remember how much they came in at I think it was around seven or eight bucks I can't remember but uh, well worth the money um, also what I like about them is made the United States product you know, I'm going to pick it up if it says that on it. Um, but just the, just the quality of the product. I mean, the, um, they hold six quarts. Usually that's typical of, of a crankcase nowadays. Six quarts, five and a half, somewhere around there, five. So you get a nice measuring, get a nice measuring unit on the side here. Uh, so you can just read up and down. But uh, that pretty much gives it to you right there. And, um. It's pretty, it's pretty, it gives you the uh, flexible funnel with the stopper, the top stopper as well, so you get all that in there, which is pretty nice, and um, like I said, I've been looking for those in a long time, I've finally just, uh, just seen them, I don't know if they've been there a long time, but I uh, just bought these a few weeks ago, and um, I'm happy with them, so if you guys want to see where they are, like I said, they, they are at Walmart. And like I said, I think th I think it was about seven or eight bucks for it. I couldn't remember. Don't quote me on it, but uh, somewhere around that ballpark. So um, that was about the price. And um, while I was there, I actually same brand, uh, Hyper Tough. Um, nice funnel. You know, um, a lot of times if you you know if you're uh, using funnels, as you know, you can make a mess. But these got a you know, wide mouth on them. You know what I mean? So you. You pour the oil down, or fluid down, and uh, you basically not going to make a huge mess out of it. So uh, these are three three good finds actually um, at Walmart for me. So I mean, um, what I've been doing lately, you guys know. Um, they'll ask me for an oil change usually um, within the within the job I'm doing. Usually, usually they want that or something else or. You know, so that's usually included. So, you know, with this stuff, you can't go wrong. Um, so, I basically decided to go with them. So, all, like I said, guys, all three of them uh, at, at Walmart. And uh, the price was right. wasn't all that much. And I uh, decided to pick them up. It's pretty helpful. So, if you guys are looking for them, like I said, at Walmart. And, um, you know, the price, I think, was around 7 or 8 bucks. So, you guys are looking for them you're now seeing this now you know where to get them so all right guys this is um real quick part of the second video i'm gonna make uh, it's like man cave stuff um as you can see like right up here um you know we got the the light up LED, like the uh, light up sign 
the with the fluorescent bulb inside, and um, I like clocks a lot of times, so I have the snap-on clock up there. I'm gonna spin the light so you can see that a little better. Get that snap-on uh, clock up there. Unfortunately, the light doesn't work on it. I bought it for the for the clock itself, so I really didn't care if it worked. You know, that's that's great. It's a nice bonus, but actually, the light doesn't work, so. Um, it is what it is, but the clock works, so, but, um, basically what I'm getting at, guys, is I'm going to show you in another video, um, what I did here, um, this actually, this actually is a hubcap, uh, clock I made, uh, it's off an of old 40s Mercury, uh, you can make them out of just about anything, and, um, I just chose this. It's off a 1940s um, uh, car, so so um, you know I took the took the clock components. That's all drilled in there. But I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video I make. But this is just a this is just a heads up video, guys, just to show you what I'm about to do. So um, the next one around, I think I'm going to use some chrome Buick hubcaps and um, the steel ones that are made of chrome, but like I said, this one's an old Mercury 1940s hubcap, and um, I, I end up using uh, this to make it. So, uh, like I said, guys, I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, it's cool. It's a man cave thing. So, like I said, um, you know, uh, this is for this is actually for the garage. I actually have it up above this sign right here, right next to the snap-on clock. So, it's, it's home. It's right up there. So. So guys, I'm just gonna um, duck out now and just uh, and just uh, pretty much end the video right about here and um, just let you know this is an upcoming video. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I did and uh, anybody that's interested, please subscribe, uh, share and like. Uh, definitely subscribe. Uh, drop a comment, please. Uh, Love when you guys drop some comments and uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, something you'd be interested in. That's cool. Because um, like I said, I'm gonna show you. I'm going to show you while I make it and how I did it and, um, you know, what, what's going on with it. So, uh, it's going to be in the next one, guys. So, this, so look out for this one. Um, as usual, guys, hit the notification bell for new ones. Um, I've been putting a lot of new ones up, so check it out. So, all right, guys. Hope you're all having a great night, and I'll see you, see you again in the next one. Thanks so much.